Hi everyone. In this video, I wanna show, again, my very favorite app of all time, which is Note Plan. It is a calendar app to do. Also, you can do note taking. It's my everything app. What I love is that it has these daily notes. So that's kind of where I list out my daily stuff that I need to do. You can also do weekly, monthly, yearly planning in here as well. You can just take freeform notes. All of it is all in this one app. This video is not going to be about what this app is and how I use it, but I want to show the theme that I made, which was inspired because you can just now do these rounded corners in the highlights. And so I can use that for headings and it looks attractive and I'm just really, really happy and excited about it. So I wanted to share before I dive into that, just in case you haven't used note plan before, and I want to get you excited about it. Let me show you a couple new features from note plan that I use all the time. So now you can have just your day at a time, but you can also have like three days at a time on the calendar and you can drag and drop, move things around and you can resize them. And here, these are actually time blocks. So I can time block my time and you can see it used to say 8.30 to 10, but because I extended that, it automatically updates here. So it beautifully allows you to time block. When you finish tasks, you can check them off. They check off there. And this all syncs with your actual calendar. If you use Google Calendar or Apple Calendar, it syncs. As well, there are split views. So say I wanna open up August 4th side by side with August 12th, which is currently empty. Option, click, and I can have two notes opened side by side. And then, you know, maybe I wanna move this stuff over here for a different day, I can do that. So there's just so much functionality in here. I can't get into all of it today, but you can drag and drop from note to note, or you can drag and drop onto the calendar to move, link, and copy things. So there's so much that this app does and so many updates since my last video. I'll get into that one day, but for today, I'm gonna go into the preferences and I'm gonna show you this theme that I customized and explain it a bit just in case you wanna do something similar. So I'll tell you, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to coding this thing. I've done a lot of copying and pasting and trying to decode the code, but I came up with something I'm happy with. So let me share. First of all, I picked my color scheme, which I wanted a pastels color scheme for this one. So that's what I went with. Now. The basics are like your title one, your title two, your title three, you get your colors for that. How that actually works is those are my headings. So I have my heading one, this color purple. My heading two is this color pink. My heading three is this color blue. And then I have one more heading type, which is just like a slate gray. I'm not gonna get too much into flagged our to do's that are priority things. And so I just picked a couple colors for that. And then let me scroll down to what I think is the more exciting part, which is these highlights. So there is just a normal highlight that's built into note plan already. And you can customize the color of course, and that works with double equal signs and you can highlight text just like that. But here are the ones that I actually customized. So let's get into the blue first. So if I go down here, I just called it highlighted blue. And then this is the regex that I used for that. And so I just chose equals one equals as the character that I'm going to wrap around whatever text I want highlighted in blue. So it's going to look like this. Equal one equal text highlighted in blue equals one equal, and then anything that I write in between it is going to be highlighted in blue. Now I chose that I wanted these to be full line highlights instead of just a single word or you know multiple words that you might highlight together. I wanted the whole line to highlight. How I did that was I used this line right here is full with border, make it true, and then it makes it extend the entire line. And that's also flexible so that if I make it smaller, then it responds in the way that you want it to. So that is key there. You can copy and paste this regex code. I don't understand it all, but what I do understand is that the background color is is the important thing here. And then I added another color marker. The color changes the color of the text because I wanted white text and I wanted the blue highlight. So those are the important lines of things 
that I changed there. As well, I customized the border radius to make it look, you know, the amount of rounded that I wanted. You can adjust that border radius to your liking. And I put a little bit of padding left and right. Then to go with the highlight blue, highlight blue left colon makes it so that you know when you go over it the equals one equal is very lightened and kind of grayed out so that's that gray out color there that i chose and then for the background color right i wanted it to be that same blue highlight so i just made sure that for all the blue stuff i had the background color that same exact color blue so that was important and then again this color that i'm choosing here is a super toned down out gray so you don't really see it when you click off of it the markdown goes away anyway but that's what I did and then for the color I was able to adjust the color of the text because I didn't want it to be the same black text that I was using everywhere else I wanted it to be white so it stood out so I did that same thing with all the different colors so I had blue for equals one and then I had purple for the second color I have pink for my third color. And the reason that I didn't use like color names is because I wanna be able to use different themes and I just want to code them as one, two, and three so that when I change themes, the one, the two, and the three correspond in different themes. Like I might have different themes of colors, but I'm going to keep them by priority levels in terms of like how I usually set things up because I tend to have like a heading one, a heading two, and a heading three. That's how I think of things. So that's why I did it with the one, two, and threes. I was just thinking about if I change themes. Then I also have a gray one and I have a couple that I put at the top here which are more like priority things like there's something really important I might want to make it in yellow so I made that with equals exclamation point equals so I got a nice yellow highlight. To make it a heading type, you just do the same thing that you normally would do. Like I wanted a heading three, so I do three hashtags in front and now it becomes a header. So that's beautiful. And then I also have a green one here. Sometimes I like to set an intention for the day. So I thought that would be nice to have that in green. And I'm gonna show you some shortcuts that I created to make this all faster. Just give me a moment. I wanna just go over a couple more things. So I got the highlights down. I was super excited about that. And then I was like, oh, can I make colored text too? And yes, you can make colored text too. So let's go down in the code. And I pretty much copied and pasted everything. Let's go with blue again, since I started with blue last time. Instead of highlighted blue, I made it highlighted blue text. And then instead of equals one equal, I made it between two colons. I erased all the highlight stuff and just left color. That's all I needed was the color. So I left the color for highlighted blue. And then for the left and right colon, literally the only thing you need there is like that very muted color so that, you know, the colons disappear kind of like. So let's do this. One text is blue. Ta-da! Isn't that great? Oh, I'm so excited. The text is blue purple and you have to remember like your colors but i'm gonna use this all the time so i'll remember them and uh yeah so that's the main thing of what i did and what i'm so excited about now let me show you some shortcuts that i set up so if you go just into your main system preferences and then you go into keyboard and you click on text then you can set up shortcuts here that's how i set up shortcuts there's other apps that you can use to do this also but i just went with this it's built in super simple and then it works on my phone too. For example, I'm going to use this task heading. I use this every single day and I just want to trigger that with slash TT, like my today tasks. So what I did was I just highlighted this entire row here, copy, and then press plus to make a new shortcut, do slash TT, and then here just literally paste it in. Now one thing you have to be careful of is sometimes it does an extra enter. You can see I'm on a new line here. So just backspace until you see the actual line that you wanted and that's it. That's all you do. And now slash TT, enter, boom. I don't need to like do all that stuff that I normally have to do. So I did that same thing with, you know, the main headings I use over and over and over again. I use them all the time. And then I also made one that's slash T day for today. I was already using today for something else. I can show that real quickly in a second. But if I do here slash T day, those are the main headings that I use every day. I have my tasks, my writing and my reflection that I need to do. And then I can add anything I want, but that can kind of be my basics. You can also make templates templates in no plan and I do use templates for other things but sometimes I just want a quick way to make those three headings and so I like to have a shortcut for that how I did that was I did the same thing that I just explained before I just copied 
all of this stuff, copied it, and then pasted it in with the replaced text. Super simple. I think it's great. Uh, what was the today? Uh, today is something that I really like. It's actually this callback. I don't remember where I got the callback code from, but I'll paste it right here. Basically what that allows me to do is from my spotlight search, I can just do today like this anywhere and it will pop up my today note. So I can even be on another desktop because I often use multiple desktops to keep things situated and straight. So say I was on this desktop for instance, open up spotlight today, boom, it just brings up my daily note quickly, easily, so I can start jotting down whatever I need to jot down, and then I can organize it in a more pretty way later. Sometimes you just need a note on the fly, so that's really great. All right, I said I wanted to keep this brief. I don't know how brief I've kept this, but I wanted to walk you through that, and I'll leave a copy of my pastels template in the Discord community for note plan, and if you're not a part of that community and you're interested in it, just message me, and I'll get back to you. All right. I hope this helped, I hope you liked it, and I hope you have fun customizing a theme that makes your heart sing. All right, bye for now.